What we're going to cover in this video is how the camera angles and different cameras work throughout the game so that you get more of a grip on building and navigating your parks. First up, we've got the default camera. Now this one uses the center point of your marker and it moves around always facing that one. This one's probably the best one for navigating quickly around your park get from A to B in the fastest way. If you press X and press LB, you'll move into a camera where you are the point and as you're moving it around, your center marker will move. This one's a bit more like a sort of first person one and it's great for doing little flybys of your different stores or locations if you need to go underneath a structure or inside a tunnel and get that view. You have the ability to actually select any guests within the park. So let's pick this lady here. And you can go down and use the camera mode on that character. And then what you'll see here is you'll get a guest's view. Now you can change this to interest the guest's first person perspective or a more cinematic camera. I tend to use this as a guest's first perspective. You can hide the panel with RB and you get a real sense of what that guest is seeing. Now we've picked a guest that's in a queue. This is not a great view. So let's just quickly switch to someone that isn't in a queue and we can get a sense of them walking around the park too. So let's pick this family here. I'm going to jump into the camera and as you can see, we are following her while she's going towards our ride. You can also change it to the interest camera. So we keep her as the point of interest while she's going through and our camera will always focus on her. And then of course, we've got the cinematic view. So if you want to follow her throughout the park, but keep the camera towards her, maybe you're demonstrating how people go through a maze or on a ride, then this would be perfect for that. One of my favorite cameras we're in the game is the ability to click on your ride and actually check it out in first person view. You can hide the panels and experience the ride as if you were the guest. What's great about this view is you can set it so that you're on a different train and even a different seat. So you can really check all of them different camera angles out. Like with the person camera, you also have the ability to change it so it's the point of interest and a more cinematic camera too. Another thing that's really handy when using cameras is to also set your lighting as sometimes you'll want to design something that potentially looks different at a different time of day. Here's a great example. So this queue is set up so that throughout the majority of the day, I can keep my visitors within the shade so the sun's not on them. Now, obviously I don't want to sit here and wait for the whole day to cycle to test that out. So what I can do is if I press X and go to RB, I have the ability to set the light in based on the time of day. So let's just swap this to the morning and I'm going to lock this and turn it on. So what will happen now is the game will continue to cycle throughout the day, but the lighting will stay as if it's 10 a.m. So what I will then be able to do is quickly jump between the hours to see if the shade that I'm trying to create works perfectly. And this will also go into nighttime and your lights will illuminate. Now, whilst in nighttime, you might be navigating a part of your park that maybe doesn't have light in yet. Maybe it's underground or a cave. You also have the ability, if you go back into the X menu and RB into the lighting tool again to turn on a torch. And this actually just allows you to roam around the park, but still have that bit of light whilst you're working on something potentially in a night view. What I tend to do is I'll press X, RB, and swap the time to be around 10 a.m. when I'm first creating my parks. And this just 
allows the lighting to stay consistent whilst you're building and editing. And there you have it. Let's quick look at the standard camera, the more first person camera, the person camera and the roller coaster camera. We've also covered how you can set certain daytime and certain lighting throughout the day and night to aid in your building and exploring of your parks as well. I hope this video has helped you out and I'll catch you in the next one.